Introducing the Ashdown Virtual Cab Pack from Ashdown and Two Notes Audio Engineering. Recording at home in high quality has never been as important as it is now, and that's exactly why we teamed up with Two Notes to bring you six Ashdown cabs in IR form, suitable for Two Notes Torpedo Remote and Wall of Sound plugin. We've modeled the brutal simplicity of our ABM Single 15, the tightness of our ABM 210, the clarity of our ABM 410, the mid focus punch of our RM212, the vintage tone of our CL310T, and the stadium shaking powerhouse that is the ABM 810 cab. Part of the reason we teamed up with Two Notes is the sheer versatility with which you can use the Ashdown cabinets with the Two Notes software and hardware. You've got two main routes. One is through Torpedo Remote. Torpedo Remote is a software designed to be used alongside something like this, the Torpedo Captor X, which is a fantastic little load box, which allows you to hook up even valve heads, things like the Ashdown CTM 30 little stubby or the CTM 100 or 300. The Torpedo Remote can then simulate any of the cabs from our Ashdown cab range for silent recording or even home practice. The other method requires less hardware and that's via the Two Notes Wall of Sound plugin. Wall of Sound can be used within your DAW and allows you to couple any of Ashdown's cabs with a broad range of mics rooms, a whole bunch of rack controls, from power amp soak to compression, a simple global tone, and some extra shaping tools. Of course, this can be used alongside any amp sim plugin or with any of our class D heads from our Rootmaster or Original series. For this example, I wanna really show you what the Ashdown cab package plus the Wall of Sound software can do together to give you a really versatile range of bass tones. So I'm gonna keep things super simple and run my Ashdown Grail bass into an Ashdown Tone Pocket straight into my DAW. The Tone Pocket gives me a super simple three band EQ, but other than that, my tone is untouched. So everything you hear is gonna be a mix of our Ashdown cabs blended together alongside the tone shaping options of Wall of Sound. Okay, so here we have the Torpedo Wall of Sound plugin open inside our door. In this case, we're using Presonus Studio one, I've created a little bass loop using the Ashdown Grail bass, and we're gonna try and shape a tone using just the Ashdown cabs that we have in Torpedo Wall of Sound and their rack. Now, I know if you haven't looked at Torpedo Wall of Sound before, this, this big rack of controls could look a little bit daunting, but it's actually dead simple and a really intuitive, interesting way to shape your tone. Coupled with the range of Ashdown cabs you have here, I think there's, you can create any sort of sound you want from vintage to modern and everything in between. It's really cool, really versatile. Let's uh, let's try and do that. I'll walk you through what we've got. So first of all, you can see I've selected an Ashdown 810 and why not? Why not select an 810 when I don't have the room to actually have it in my bedroom so I can have it on here. But if we click on this cab, we get all the different Ashdown cabs. Now those with tweeters will be displayed twice, once with a tweeter, once without, and we can just flick through those select the cab we want for the sake of now i do want just the 810 without a tweeter so we can close that down now other things that you can change on uh wall of sound is the microphone you can click here change the microphone you get a big list but there are a couple that are really good for bass these dynabase 6 dynabase 112 really good let's stick with that dynabase 112 for now and we can of course change the room uh, we've got a couple of different studios, a concrete floor, an old wooden floor. Uh, we've got auditoriums, concert halls, things like that. Now, basses obviously actually just want that kind of that that close tight sound of a studio. So let's stick with this studio one and then let's start looking at uh, this rack of controls. I'll start playing the loop and we'll start real time changing the controls, seeing what we can make sound good. Here it is. Okay, right, so let's um, let's start with some of this tone shaping. I'm going to ignore this top bit for now, go straight to this tone control, dark or bright. Now this kind of works like a passive control on your bass, so full bright is just like tone on. But you know, to be honest, before we add anything else in, that's a little thin, so we can roll that off a little bit. 
-hmm. Next up, we've got the contour control. We know what that is. That's going to be a mid shift between vintage and modern. So right up here. Oh, we're getting all clicky. Very, very clean, but very, very clicky. Too clicky for me. But right down here on vintage, we've got all those pronounced low mids, which I am all about. But to be honest for this, let's, let's just rock it up somewhere there. Make it a little bit cleaner and tidier. Next up, harmonics. I love this control. Raw to rich. Yeah. It's giving some real body to what we're playing. This little destroy switch. pretty aggressive. Maybe dial off that a little bit. Next up, compression. Now this compression does go crazy. It goes really far, but it is very good if you're going to start messing around with this power amp stage just to keep things under control. So we can go right up, but let's just have some light compression for now. Already sounding pretty good. Let's go to this power amp now. So we can heat up these valves. So that is the kind of thing that you can do with just one of the Ashdown cabs and the controls that we've got here on the in the rack of torpedo wall of sound but we're not even scratching the surface yet let's hit this link switch and uh, we have added in a second cab now i know what you're thinking two eight tens might be a little bit much for anyone but we can control all of these things individually so maybe let's set something up a pairing that works well together and i know a pairing that i'm quite a fan of is a 210 over on this side so let's select a 210 and then over on this side we're going to we're going to get ourselves a 115 so i love that pairing okay so 210 and a 115 we're probably not going to need this much drive on either of these and let's do that billy sheehan thing let's let the 115 deal with all the dark tone and the 210 deal with all the bright tone. And that way we can kind of blend a tone up between the two. Let's hear how it sounds off the bat and we'll see if we can shape a tone using this. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. Now, one of the other things we can actually do is we can pair up matching caps. It doesn't always have to be opposing. And an Ashdown cap that feels like it was built um, to be partnered with another one of the same cab is the gorgeous CL310, one of the newest additions to our cab range. And always definitely the coolest. So we can partner these things up. They're way more mid-focused. <laughs> what a difference the cab makes just by me flicking through them. This is a great way to AB your tone as well. I actually really like that. That sounds good. The Ashdown Cab Pack for Two Notes, Torpedo Remote and Wall of Sound. Follow links in the description of this video for how you can get your hands on the Ashdown Cab Pack and Two Notes software platform.